Okay, today we are going to be unboxing some outdoor camera mounts for the WiseCam uh, V2 cameras. I just received from Amazon. This is a three pack. So this is the box that came in. As you can see, it says WiseCam outdoor mount um, made in China. The box was sealed. I just did open to check it. The only other thing it had on there was uh, another made in China sticker. Um, Otherwise, that's what it looked like. So I did already open it just to take a look. This is what it looks like. Uh, as you can see, there are the three gaskets that will go around the front um, up against the camera. So there's three of those. There are the three larger gaskets for the rear portion of the uh, mounting. There are a bunch of very, very small screws here. You can see to make sure that you are aware that this could be loose somewhere in in the box and keep an eye out for them. Um, a nice feature, there are a couple of tools. So these do look identical to me. Um, they are small Phillips head very nice that there's a couple of them in here. So those came with the kit. There is another um, set of packing that goes with each mount. So this is one of the three mounts. You can see there are some mounting hardware in here included. So this is what it looks like. Um, very carefully going to attempt to pull this apart. So. Again, make sure you don't lose this. This would be for screwing into the drywall anchors or the mounting screws. This is going to be where you're going to attach it to the wall of your choice. Uh, this looks like it adjusts pretty easily. So that's really nice. Nothing fancy here to see. Then this is the housing for your WiseCam version 2. Uh, pretty nice standard mount. I appreciate that this brand has the black around the camera opening and around the the little uh, ledge that covers the camera. This will help with the infrared to keep the glare down. So it's pretty nice. Um, you can see this is what it's going to look like. So you've got the four holes for the small screws that come with in the box. So it's going to be very important not to lose those. So it looks pretty nice. This again is quite nice. There's a little let's unscrew that. So if you want to take this off to mount this onto the wall or the ceiling or whatever, you can do that. Um, so pretty nice, pretty easy to install here. This will be, of course, how you're going to tighten things up with your adjuster here. So you'll mount your camera on the wall, get your angle uh, however you want it, and then how you tighten this rotating ball up is to tighten here. The tighter you go, it doesn't move. Which there you go. So it seems pretty straightforward. Um, that's pretty easy. Seems really well made. Uh, final attachment is going to be the screw mechanism to attach this to the actual back here. So you will need to obviously unscrew this a little bit to get it into the system. And then uh, just rotate that around. <laughs> and you can tighten, screw this down, tightening it in here. You can unscrew this, provide more. Um, it's pretty adjustable. So pretty nice. If you're uh, used to using a regular camera tripod, this is probably not a, anything that you haven't really seen. It's nothing out of the ordinary. So I think really what sets this particular vendor's um, outdoor mount apart, and here's your hole for your cord, 
um, is going to be the the blackening along here, which will help with the infrared feature on the camera on the Wise Cam. And then they have obviously included these gaskets to further help with the um, weatherproofing of the uh, of their their little mount here. So. I think it's pretty nice. Of course, when you put it together, you're going to want to make sure that this is on the bottom, not on the side, you know, unless there's a reason to put it on the side, I think. Um, generally, you're not going to want that because you're going to be letting in, uh, you know, potentially rain from the side. Um, so you want it at the bottom so that any moisture can drain out the bottom with the cord. So uh, again, very nice. Let's see. Um, Final item in the box looks like a little card. Looks like a little thank you card, and I don't know if I can get at it here. It says, thanks, Galdu dedicated support team is always here. It's a service card. Thank you so much for your purchase at Galdu store. Your satisfaction is our top priority. As a reliable seller on Amazon, we think highly of the shopping experience in our store from every customer. We would appreciate it if you could give us a chance to address any concerns. Lifetime warranty, according to this, um, there's an email. It says galdous at yeah.net, y-e-a-h.net. That's interesting. Um, so free replacement if product is damaged or defective. If it doesn't match the description, they would reissue or refund. So. Very nice, but that is pretty much what you get in the box. And uh, yeah, looks great. Next step is to grab a Wisecam V2 and uh, mount these. So hang tight, folks. Okay, everybody, we are back with the Wisecam V2 to install into our um, weather resistant weatherproof mount and I have hopefully everything I need here so I have the two gaskets that go with the mount I've got my cam I have my power cord for my cam which I'm going to go ahead and connect to the camera so that's ready to roll this is wise cam v2 version 2 so first thing will be to gently place the gasket into the top part here and this is going to be I'm not quite sure how they expect you to do this but we will give it a whirl you know and if I was really good I would probably put a little Vaseline on this gasket but I'm not going to worry about it so I think Gently, what would I would say is very gently work it into the groove because there is a groove in here that is for the gasket. You're just going to need to gently work it in with um, your fingers, fingernails, or a little tool. So next thing is a uh, cam will go in. So bottom small hole down. We're going to drop this cam in very gently straight in. It is a tight fit. And I'm going to see how that looks. I hope the gasket didn't move. I'm not seeing it. I'm holding this in here firmly so that I don't have a problem with the gasket moving. So I have my coiled power cord because next thing is to put this in. So I guess it might be easier to put the gasket on and then put the power cord in although I'm not convinced that is really a great way to go but again gentle gentle with your hands put that in we'll take our power cord um, and that has to go in before you could put the back on now remember it looks like gasket is in there we're gonna go ahead and slide that on so looks really good so before I start screwing this in this is what it's going to look like power cord is out so this looks good I have these itty bitty screws provided by the manufacturer looks very easy to lose these um, a suggestion 
would be to put a magnet on this, if I can find my magnets. My suggestion would be to take a small magnet and magnetize your screwdriver so that you don't lose one of these screws. So I'm going to work on that real quick. So magnetize that. Drop that screw into the hole and tighten it in. It's in there, so I don't have it in tight yet, but I just have a problem with these, how small these are. So it's easier, in my opinion, to <laughs> use a magnet. And that did not want to go in. All right, those are in. Two more to go. can feel this turning in. I think you have to go back once you get all four in and tighten up each screw. Drop the screw. So, in the interest of time, pull another one out. Maybe this magnet is not worth the effort. I'm not sure. But if you're a guy and you don't have fingernails like I do, it's probably a lot easier to just not have the magnet. But my fingernails get in the way. All right, so. These feel pretty tight. This is the only one that doesn't feel like it went in there properly. So, try that again. I'm telling you. say that I feel this is thoroughly tight yet so I think you're gonna have to just kind of really play around with it to figure out whether these screws are in tight enough obviously you don't want to strip the screws you don't want to break the case but that's much better you certainly want it to feel solid this is the one that's giving me problems is this corner Okay, well, that's, that's still not going in. Try a different screw. I don't want the case to feel like it's moving. I, that to me, that's not waterproof. <laughs> to me, that's not tight and not weather resistant, so Try a different screw on here and see if we can make this work. I'm 
really does not sound like it's seating itself in the hole properly. Could have a yeah, not. Feels like it's tightening down. Okay, so be careful because if you don't get the screws in just right, it wants to move, but I am feeling no movement now in this. And there we go. My wise cam is, should be pretty secure. Um, I can see the gasket, so it's tight. It slid in there tight. Everything feels really tight. Obviously you want to this on as tight as possible to keep the camera pushed up against the gasket to keep any um, moisture out but it looks good it seems quite nice um, you know next step is just to go ahead install uh, this on the wall install this on the camera and I'm, I'm ready to go so I think this is a really nice option for, um, you know, weather, I don't know if I could say weatherproofing your camera, but uh, making it more weather resistant for the outdoors uh, until, until uh, WISE releases in August the, the new outdoor version. So um, definitely would, would give this uh, a thumbs up. Again, I really appreciate this, this black uh, in here as well. This um, will help with the infrared. It will reduce the glare. And um, yeah, I think this is going to be a really nice mounting kit. So thanks you guys so much for watching. And uh, you know, if you liked this, you know, give it a give it a yes on Amazon. I appreciate it as a reviewer. Let me know if you have questions or comments. Um, and uh, enjoy your camera.